I, I was pleased to hear bipartisan concern about the uh, issues of standards of identity. Um, I wanted to uh, dig a little deeper because, uh, as I mentioned in my opening statement, I recently reintroduced the Dairy Pride Act. That legislation would require FDA to issue guidance for nationwide enforcement of mislabeled imitation dairy products within 90 days. This is an issue that I've been working on for many years now, and it's important to dairy farmers and the entire Wisconsin dairy industry. I'm sometimes dismayed that I even have to offer a measure like this. Um, FDA does, uh, does not enforce the regulations it has on the books. So dairy farmers follow these rules day in and day out in order to be able to honestly label their product as milk or cheese or yogurt. Um, yet a range of imitation dairy products have gotten away with using these dairy terms even though they don't follow the agency's rules. I really think it's high time that the FDA address this violation of, of its own labeling requirements. So please update me on what FDA is currently doing to ensure consumers are not misled by the use of dairy terms on non-dairy products. We are working on updated guidance that would uh, make sure consumers understood were particularly concerned about nutritional value. Yes. For example, calcium, vitamin D, protein. Um, some of these other products are not comparable. And say if they were fed to a young child or infant, they wouldn't be getting what the consumer, uh, the mother or parent thought uh, the child was getting. So we really need clear labeling in, in those instances to make sure that it's not misleading. And we will uh, try to get that out as soon as possible. Okay. Um, I certainly uh, I appreciate your assurance that you'll continue uh, to work on this and with this committee uh, to make standards of identity a priority in the agency. 